up, y'all? It's Ty. In this video today, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts, opinions on the Carl Anthony Towns for Julius Randle DiVincenzo in a first uh, pick and talk mostly just about Carl Anthony Towns. And as a Timberwolves fan, not only what he meant to the organization, but kind of what he meant to me and, um, and how Cat always went above and beyond for me personally. So, if I get emotional, it's sad, guys. It's sad. And um, and look, Cat is the reason I was a Minnesota Timberwolves fan. He's the reason I fell in love with the NBA. So it just means a little bit more to me. Uh, and and, uh, and it is pretty sad. And, and we'll be talking about like why both sides made this trade and why it ultimately makes sense. But it's sad nonetheless. Carl Anthony Towns is a guy when I first became a fan of the Minnesota Timberwolves. I, I, I never really thought that I'd, you know, have an actual, like, I don't know, I'm not saying we're best friends, but actually, like, have the chance to meet, have some sort of a personal relationship um, with. And 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 it's kind of like a dream come true for me that, um, obviously, I got good at 2K, and that led one thing led to another. But I think it's a, it, it's more of the fact of who Carl Anthony Towns is. Whether it's signing a jersey to me, it getting lost in the mail, to making sure I get that extra jersey sent to me. It's in the background right now. It says, Teddy Bo, thanks for all your support. Whatever, you know. Um, but whether it's that, whether it's him giving me the opportunity to meet him after a game. My girlfriend, wife, now got to meet D'Lo as well. Cat always went the extra mile. I know there was a story put out by The Athletic. Shout out to The Athletic. Um, that Cat literally... After the day after getting traded, went out of his way, uh, or not out of his way, but he made a promise to a family, basically two kids, that he'd see them play one time. Abruptly got traded. You want to know what he did? And the next day, he went and attended the game of those kids that he promised he would show up to a game. That's the type of guy Cat is, and it's bigger than basketball, not only for me but for the Timberwolves fan base. And so I know a lot of people see this trade and they're like, well, you know, the Knicks got, you know, the best player, which they did. Cat's the best player in the trade. The Timberwolves, why would you do this trade? And it pretty much makes sense. Like the Timberwolves, given the salaries, given their timeline with Anthony Edwards, this trade kind of makes sense for a variety of reasons. DiVincenzo's kind of, he's still somewhat young. He's on a really good contract. Julius Randle's on an expiring. Yes, he has a player option. And you get a future first back. Whereas Cat's making a ton of money. You got guys to pay next year and guys like Naj Reed, guys like Nikhil Alexander-Walker. They had to do something and they kind of wanted to stand at the luxury tax as well. Uh, and, and this is kind of a trade that for them makes sense as well. Now, when you look at the New York Knicks, they're a super big threat. Cat's going to help space the floor. Brunson's going to have extra room to operate in that mid-range game, in the in the paint, getting in the paint. They're going to have just such a good team. And I think it's going to really help the Knicks that Cat's going back to his natural position. People forget how much of a matchup nightmare he is to play against. For example, when the Timberwolves play the Knicks, how are the Timberwolves going to guard the Knicks? Are you going to put Rudy Gobert on Carl Anthony Towns? Hmm, good luck with that. And as much as I love Rudy, he can he could never guard Cat in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Maybe put Rudy on Josh Hart, try the lurk type of situation. But it just provides the Knicks the spacing they needed and a big-time center to go along with their already star-studded uh, talent. For the Timberwolves, they get a big-time bench piece in Dante DiVincenzo. Julius Randle has been an all-star, what, four out of the last five years? He's a big-time player. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of his game. But like I said, contractually, for the Timberwolves side, it makes sense. For the Knicks side, they want to compete for a championship. And Cat is going to help their squad out. I still can't get over for me personally how sad it is, though. Like, the guy that made me fall in love with the NBA, really, and the Minnesota Timberwolves, is now gone. So, like, a piece of what my favorite part of the NBA was, and I still obviously root Cat on from afar, is now gone. And it's crazy. As much hate as Cat got at times in Minnesota, the reaction when he got traded, every single, basically every single Timberwolves fan is super sad. There's some people saying that Cat's jersey needs to be retired. And, you know, last year there was times where they'd be so frustrated with Cat, they wanted, you know, him, they wanted him gone. But it's it's always, in my opinion, you don't know what you have until it's gone. It was so easy to critique Cat when he'd kick out on a three and get called for an offensive foul, when he'd the, you know, hook somebody where for an offensive foul. Like, he do some dumb things at times, but he's so talented, guys. He's, in my opinion, one of the best shooting big men of all time. If you don't want me to say the best, I'll say one of the best. And New York is getting an absolute star. I just want people to know from the bottom of my heart, 
that Cat is truly a good dude and that New York is getting a star at that center position. I, I genuinely hope if the Timberwolves don't win the championship this year, that New York does. Because I want nothing more than Cat, uh, for Cat. Cat deserves it. Cat is such a good, good dude. He's been through a lot in his life. And, and, and for him to always go above and beyond, not only for, for me, not only for you know the, the family, uh, the young kids that he went and attended their games, but just for the Minnesota community, man, whether it's his coat drive, whether it's, it, it just goes above and beyond. So I think this is a bigger than basketball moment. I did hear your Tim Conley actually went to Cat's house. The GM went to Cat's house to inform him he got traded. So it sounded like Minnesota handled the situation as best they could given the situation, but it's sad. Cat came into a Minnesota Timberwolves franchise that was distraught. It was horrible. They had no hope and really turned it into a situation. And you can credit Anthony Edwards as well. Absolutely. But Cat helped turn it into a situation where now you're looking at a team that has a chance to not only go to the playoffs, but they have a chance to make some noise in, in, as far as winning an NBA championship. So to Carl Anthony Towns, like you probably never see this, but thank you. Genuinely. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for always being super respectful for me, coming in my stream, gifting me subs during the holidays, saying hopefully everything's blessed. Making sure after a game I got the chance to meet you, talk to you, and my girlfriend at the time, wife now, got the chance to meet her favorite player as well. Just thank you, man. From the bottom of my heart, you are such a good dude. And um, and I wish you the best of luck moving forward. I get it. From a business perspective, the trade makes sense. But I'll never be happy with the trade. Ever. I wanted Kat to retire in Minnesota Timberwolf. And for me, it, it's super sad. It, it, it genuinely is super sad. So... I get his business, but at the end of the day, and sometimes it's bigger than basketball, and, and I love what Cat did for the organization. I hope if he finds so much success in New York, and I hope that fan base appreciates Carl and Anthony Towns. Like, I know New York's not necessarily the easiest place, uh, place to, you know, be accepted or whatever, but I, I genuinely wish him nothing but the best of success. From a pure business basketball standpoint, I think this trade genuinely makes sense for both teams. I know there's people that are saying, oh, the Timberwolves got fleece. Oh, the Knicks got fleece. I don't necessarily think either of those are going on. I genuinely think this is a solid trade for both sides. And um, and I hope both sides excel. I hope Cat's happy in New York. All I can say is from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Carl Anthony Towns, for not only what you did on the court for uh, in the Timberwolves jersey, giving, you, giving everything you had to the organization, never requesting a trade, having to go through the Jimmy Butler uh, years, having to play with you know guys like, and, th- and I'm not trying to slander people, but having to play with starters like Travion Graham, Josh Kogi. Thank you, Carl Anthony Towns. You are a star, and I wish you a be- you're a star not only in basketball, but in life, and I wish you the best of success. I had to make a video talking about this because I need to get my emotions out sometime, but when I read the story about Cat attending the, 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 the kids' games right after the day he got traded, it's, uh, it truly sums up what a good dude Carl Anthony Towns is. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, man, I love you guys, and have a blessed day.